This is a video of Hornby Railmaster Voice Control Part 2, which is how to set up your voice control. I have been asked by one or two people about this, so I thought I'd do a short video. First of all, you need to not be on that screen, you should be on this screen. Go down to your little start button, and in this box here, you type in speech. And you'll get that panel. Go to speech recognition. Now this is the box you'll get. Now what you first need is to go into set up the microphone. Once you've done that you then do the speech tutorials which learns the computer how you actually talk and then you go into that one and actually there's a little box you tick and what it'll do is it'll bring that up on your screen. What it means is every time you start a computer up, this will come up. So you can actually use your computer as normal and operate a speech control operating normal computer. So we go into the set up the microphone. We've actually got a headset, desktop and other. We're using a headset microphone. You go to that. That shows you how, what you should actually have how to talk to it. Once you've done that, you've got this, which actually is, you read that dictation there, and once you've done all that, you then go through the system. Then so you do your tutorials, and then go to speech recognition, which will take you up to there. So that is how you've got that one. Now then, one of the things I have a problem with with Railmaster is, in my... Reva train. These here are actually not what normally you would see. What you like, because I had a problem in how mine talked to me. This one here, which is my Reva train, you'll see. Uh, you'll actually, in fact, if you go into one of these here, we'll go into this one. These are all the things that Hornby have put in as regards function keys. Now then. What you can actually do is you don't have to use what they've got in there. Well, say you've got in blue there, you can type anything you want and that will set it up what you've actually said. So what I've actually got here is I've got my lights on and off, sound, horn, brake release, whistle. This one which was actually doors open and close, I couldn't get it operate. I wrote in door slam and I can get it to work. This one which is guard uh, buzzer, I've actually wrote in conductor and it operates. And I'll show you this one how it works. Just to turn the system on. We go to this. Class 150. Class 150. Lights on. Sound on. That of course is my Riva train. The famous one. Conductor, conductor, conductor. See, sometimes operate, sometimes it don't. Door slam. Sound off. Actually, you've already got the lights off on the train. Now then, as I said, I had a problem with this as regards this is trouble when you're talking to it. It's actually just go to this one a minute. That's it. Turn it off a minute. Uh, back again. With these words here. Now, what you can actually do, just turn that off as well. You can actually go. 
just nip it out for a second. You can go to this bit here, right click it and that's the screen you will get. If you go down here to open the speech dictionary, here you can actually add a word, change a word or prevent a word. Here, like if you add a word in there, we'll just put one in for starters, we'll say hello. You do that and then you click this thing here and go to that. What you can do then is you press the record button, say hello, it'll then record it and then you can actually listen to it back just to make sure. So if there's some part of the word hasn't been picked up you can just press the record again and do it all over again. That is how I actually trained my computer and Railmaster to work. There is another little one which I forgot to show you that on the last time. Down here at the bottom of the screen is a little arrow. Now we all have problems if you've got a large setup of getting all that onto your screen. You can actually reduce it uh, to what you want but the, what you can actually do is if you press this little arrow here what it does it drops that last bar just take it back up again this bit here drops it out of the system. The only time you need that is when you want to do um, a part of the programming system so most of the time you don't actually need it and so, so that is all you actually need to set up your Railmaster voice control. Thank you.